Morning guys and welcome to day four, I believe, of these holiday vlogs. I feel really bad because I know that I promised in my first vlog that I was gonna film every single day. And don't get me wrong, I have, but we've been outside for most days. And honestly, it's actually been so windy here. It's been hot, but it's just been really breezy. The audio's just been so, so bad on everything that I filmed. So I think with the previous days that I filmed little bits of, I'm gonna try and like basically make one big vlog out of around three days, I believe it was. So sorry that this just has not worked out the way that I thought it would. So basically, this morning we went down for breakfast. Brad normally wakes up first and then wakes me up and I have about five minutes to get ready. So yeah, we've had breakfast this morning and I had pancakes to start with and then I had an omelette and some like little sausage things. Food here is honestly insane. Like it's such good food. We've been to two of the restaurants here so they have like a meat slash grill one and also they have a fish restaurant and they also are so good. And I think we're going back to the meat one tomorrow maybe. But yeah, today so far we've literally just gone to breakfast. We are sitting in the same place as we did yesterday and the day before which are like these little cabana type seat things and it's by the nicest pool by far here in the hotel so i will show you guys when we go down which is exactly what i'm about to do but i just quickly came up here to grab my camera and also my phone that is basically all i have to catch you up on i just really briefly wanted to kind of touch on the fact that there's not been a vlog every day of this holiday right now i'm gonna just grab my stuff and then we can head downstairs and meet up with everyone else again Don't think about it, just go. Just do it gracefully. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's cold. They're quite good, aren't they? Baby. Whoa. No, don't. I have three electricals here. <laughs> three electricals, <laughs> two of them are waterproof. It on the backs of your legs. Got a mate. I don't know why he's sitting there though. Like, why can't he just go back in the bush? What do I do with it? Oh my god, he's literally not moving. <gasps> why didn't he find his own bloody sunbed? So, as you can probably tell from the sweat running down my face, I actually don't yeah. know if it's. Where? Go away, mate! I don't want to be friends. What, literally, what does it want? It's come back to me three times. We're now sitting in our little cabana thing. They're actually so cute and they're like the perfect things to sit in because you're kind of shielded. But I'm going to go and get in the pool in a minute because honestly, I cannot cope with the tea. We've now literally been spending all day in the sun. I'm feeling a little bit overheated now, I'm not gonna lie. So we're just gonna go and grab some lunch now. I've just got out of the pool. I think I would have inserted clips, but we went over to the other side of the hotel just a little while ago, and the other side is like way more lively, let's say, than this side. And there was like a phone party going on, which just seemed a little bit mental, but there were literally like two year old kids and they just got lost in this phone and it was really freaking me out. I'd got involved as you all probably see because he is actually a child. But yeah, we then came back here, just chilled out in the pool. And now, as I say, we're gonna go and get some lunch just from the buffet, which is literally around the corner. So I will show you what I get for lunch. I don't really want to lift the camera up because there's quite a lot of people in front of me. But we are now back from lunch. The guys have all gone to like go and do some activities in the sea. I'm gonna catch up on my tan again. To be honest, I'm not really the biggest fan of the sea anyway. I did go kayaking the other day, but it's just not for me. I think Brad's gonna go paddle boarding or something and I think mum and dad might go kayaking, I'm not sure, but yeah, I just didn't really fancy it today, so I'm just resuming position on the sunbed. I literally ate so much for lunch. I think I inserted a clip, but you know when like you go for a buffet on holiday and you literally just end up getting like the most random mix of food and uh, that's exactly what I did. Now I'm so full, like I literally feel like I can't move. So I'm just gonna lay here, tan a bit more and yeah, just chill out really. Thanks. I just went to a little snack bar thing and got Brad some watermelon and pan of chocolate, which he asked for. And then basically I asked the guy for four pancakes and he judged me. So I just pretended that I was getting some for Brad and some for me, but in reality they're both for me, so. So it's now about 6.30 I want to say in the evening and I've now just come back to the room. Brad I think has gone to the hammam which you may have seen in a previous vlog. I mentioned it before. It's basically just like a Turkish bath type thing where you lay on like hot stones and stuff. To be honest when we went the other day I didn't really find it that relaxing just because there were literally so many people in there. So I decided to just come back to the room and I think I'm going to do a little bit of editing and then basically just get showered and get ready for dinner this evening. I will take you guys down with me because I believe that dinner is like really fancy tonight. We have no idea why but 
when we were walking back to the pool earlier we saw that they had set out like these really fancy tables with table pieces in the middle we thought someone was getting married but apparently dad asked and it's for like all the guests but that is what i'm going to do now just to quickly catch you up i'm literally just going to sit down and edit a couple of things and wait for dinner because honestly i'm starving but really when am i not also i'm going to zoom in again but hopefully you can see that the staff are back outside eating their dinner at their little like fancy table i honestly don't know why it makes me laugh so much it's just weird that they have a tablecloth and wine glasses and stuff and they're literally sitting behind a tree okay so we're now ready for dinner i've basically just scraped my hair back not put any makeup on um it is a white party not a white party but the theme basically at this hotel they have a theme every single night of like what you're gonna wear i don't know why this camera's making me look so red yeah so they have like a dress code every single night and it's been like floral i don't even know like there's been so many and i literally haven't abided by any of them but tonight is going to be all white and literally this is the only top that i have <laughs> don't, don't like that because you'll just get annoyed if i put it in we've basically both gone for the whole tried but not tried type look and i'm sure mum and dad will be dressed all in white and completely show us up but i mentioned earlier that it's like a little fancy dinner thing and brad said that when he was coming back it was like apparently really proper right. everyone's taking it really seriously Did you just get one of these pillow covers and Dress up. So that's what we're not going to do but obviously I mentioned to you guys that I'd take you down and show you all of this stuff that's going on because it sounds a bit interesting. But that is where we're now going. We're just going to go meet mum and dad for a drink and then head over to where the dinner is. I got the keys. We got the keys. Mm, mm. We actually got a key. Ta-da! Look at our lovely curtains. No, you can't Oh, it sorry. Way. Okay, so I just showed you my outfit in the mirror. Brad, so you can start on my face. You on my face. No, as in stand by. <laughs> So I just showed you my outfit in the mirror, but it didn't really go very well, so I just want to speak to you where everything is from. My top is from Missy Empire. This is the only white thing that I have on right now. This cardigan is from Rebellious Fashion. These jeans are ones that you guys always ask me about anyway, but these are Topshop Jamie jeans from ages ago. And my shoes are from Lindsay, and they're about £15, but again, it's something that everybody always asks me about. What are those? <laughs> Rude. So, yeah, that is my entire outfit for this white not very white, but hey-ho. Thanks, Brad, so much. Come on, bud. I'm ready, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, no, babe, I'm waiting for you. No, I'm waiting for you. Yeah. Hello. Are you gonna speak for the camera? Hi, You're under guys. pressure now. Huh? You're under pressure. Not really, because I under do Under pressure. Have you fired? No. <laughs> this is our hotel, guys. Yeah. Uh, is, this, is this even focused? Man, it looks better on camera. Outside. Yeah? They look outside already? No, this is not camera. Touch AF cancelled. What does that mean? Everyone is in white. Yeah, I told you. Right. You think 1,100 people in this one space? I'm sure that it's just a question of pitch up, grab a table. Bonjour. Tonight, everybody eats in the garden. Okay. How are you feeling about this, Em? Oh, someone's <laughs> proposing. <laughs> just went your dinner. Oh, really? How bad do you want your hair? Oh, really? Make like, a, like, like each other. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's lovely. I literally feel like I'm at someone's wedding. I would love some wine. Thank you. Mitchell turned on. How, how, does that, how does that make you feel, Mitchell? Taking over your daughter's role. Firstly, I don't think you've got to turn on. And secondly, I think it's shut his shut as well. Oh, really? Chance of this actually being useful. Are you certain? Really? Are you as certain as Emily was when she met me? I am that certain. Say something you would not normally say on camera if you are that certain. <laughs> That's good. That's like something bad. Oh yeah. Well yeah, okay, I'll let you have that one. Come on then. <laughs> Tell me something that I would not normally know. <laughs> you get back to me on that one. Let's see where this one goes. We're going to have to talk really loud because there's a violin coming out of a speaker right by us. We've already done your vlog. Oh, great. Brad and Dad have apparently just done our vlog. But this is, if you can't tell, a massive plate of sushi because basically down the line there is just so, so much food to the point where you literally can't see the end of the line. So everyone's just like... You don't mind if we eat it while you um, film it. <laughs> everyone's just like fighting for a bit of food. So I just got like a whole plate for us to share as a starter and then we'll basically just go back up and see what we can find. What would you like? We've got cute cucumber salmon crab tuna ginger is the wasabi really hot <laughs> babe why is everyone just dunking their actual sushi into the thing is it really spicy it's really good is that generously over everything hopefully we'll be all right and i only got one bit of bread because i wasn't sure if we were getting blow your nose off i had the tiniest amount i've never had it that spicy Thank you ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your evening! 
never hosted. We've never hosted. Because we live in a flat. No, I mean, there are own fireworks. Oh, you do?